Hello, hi, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, one and all. How are you doing? It's me, it's Jim. We are listening to this. This is Farewell to Kings, a Farewell to Kings from Rush, their fifth studio album, um, 77 it came out. Um, we have got four tracks left. Closer to the Heart, Cinderella Man, Madrigal, and Cygnus X1. Uh, it's fab so far. Absolutely fab. I knew Xanadu, and I think I know Closer to the Heart. And I probably know some of the other stuff. So I, just, I don't know. As I explained yesterday, my my knowledge of Rush is... is I don't know, say broad, but it's... Um, they, uh, there are odds and sods here and there. So I know lots of Rush, but I don't know whole albums. Um, I used to listen to uh, Rush on the radio, I guess, uh, and I recorded it, so I've got a few live uh, albums and a greatest hits. So there is stuff that I do know and some stuff that I don't, but I, where it comes from, I don't know. Um, so this is it then. Side two. Yes, closer to the heart. Is that the glockenspiel I was talking about yesterday? Tubular bells. have a melody on a guitar solo rather than just a sort of random shredding you know Amazing drumming. Wow. Oh, what's the next one? Because this is Cinderella Man now. It is Cinderella Man. Cinderella man 
Sort of almost like a sort of a Dick Whittington or um, yeah, so that sort of story. Right. I don't know because that's kind of someone going off to find their riches, isn't it? Madrigal.
sounds actually fairly unlike Rush. Apart from Getty's voice, but everything else about this. short <laughs> right I think now this is uh, right, Cygnus Cygnus X1 this is a biggie 10 10 and a half minutes It sounded like sort of, sort of um, some sort of electronic ambient -y stuff. That bass guitar's a long way off. Hmm. Maybe I have heard this. focus. This bass guitar part, this sort of rhythmic section here. Maybe it'll become familiar as I listen to more of this. place.
Oops. Invisible to telescopic eye, infinity the star that would not die. It's not quite the same as that beginning bit, was it? Feels like the crescendo part of uh, at the end of 2112. It was a builds up and builds up and builds up. change 
very opethy sort of uh, guitar sound that the, the chord change oh my word is that it are we fading out are we done we are wow struth <laughs> stone the crows i don't know why i'm doing that um flipping nora That is an album. That is a stonking 10 out of 10 album. Just with those two tracks, Xanadu and Cygnus X1, that would be unbeatable. But it, I mean, it, that would be sort of really strong. But they have a farewell to Kings, close to the heart. Um, Cinderella. I wasn't too sure about Cinderella Man and Madrigal. I might have to listen to those again. Well, they were they're okay, but it's kind of those just more material, I guess, for the album. But um, the standouts there were the last two tracks of each, the last track of each side: Xanadu and Cygnus X One. Oh my god! Oh my god! How confident are they to be continued? So that what? Does that mean that when we move on to the next album, it'll have another part of this? Book, oh, it says it's book one. I didn't even see that one. Oh, because I was reading it off the back. It doesn't say that it's on the inside of here. Cygnus X1, book one. <laughs> you know... When you listen to music like this and you think about the music that is being produced today, where is the ambition and the creativity of bands now? There must be people out there with this sort of ability and and creativity. And maybe it's just sort of lightning in a jar. It's sort of it's it's, it's captured once and it's, it's impossible to repeat and i know obviously there are some amazing bands now you i mean talking about sort of modern um, progressive music your know, likes of uh, tool opeth porcupine tree stephen wilson this stuff um a thousand other bands they are all absolutely incredible but not like this not like yes were either um you know early yes this sort of just Maybe there are, and I haven't heard stuff yet, but... Ah, oh, man. It's this storytelling, the ambition, the uh, the cohesiveness of the whole thing. Because a lot of times I find with uh, progressive music, I'm not going to sort of name names in particular, but you have, bad, you have stuff which kind of mixes it up and changes direction for the sake of doing it, rather than it sort of being... Uh, uh, fluid part of the of the story or, or of the song it just because we're a prog rock band we've got to do that um, and that doesn't seem to always work but this is a case in point of where it does and and why it does and I think why people ape after this why they try to do this because oh they did it then so we need to do it now We you need to do it now if it makes sense for what you're doing now I will I just temper that by saying there's a lot of stuff that Stephen Wilson has done which goes along these lines and Porcupine Tree, and so I, I might be digging myself into a hole here. I'm not sure what I'm saying. Um, I wish there was a new rush. I think is what I mean. I think with this almost sort of childlike curiosity and storytelling but with stellar musicianship and um not innocence as such but sort of is not there's a there's a so the modern this is a, i guess like proto sort of um, prog metal sort of thing but prog metal now has become very very heavy very different from this um and I still don't know what I'm saying. I really don't. I don't know what I'm. I'm, I'm sort of going off in a, in a very weird tangent here, uh, thinking on my 
as we go. But um, oh, I don't know. Maybe there are bands and I've, I've forgotten them, and I just am living in a in a rose tinted moment here, where I'm just a, I, I, I can't think of anything else. Um, remind me in the comments because. I'm sure there are, and I need to go and listen to something more modern that is as good as. Wow. I've enjoyed this. I have so enjoyed this. Uh, what's next? Is it Hemispheres, I think? Got that back there somewhere. I'll be digging that out in a couple of months' time. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. I'll see you on the next video. Whenever and whatever that is. And until then, this is Jim. Over.